Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Fantastic that you joined me today for episode number 116, Computing Capacity Over Weeks, Some Product Function. This is actually in response to a question that I received here at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com from Cody Keevlin. Cody also made uh, a post out to the uh, Quantrix forum that I try to monitor every day uh, asking the same question. So Cody, I, I have your answer. And I'm glad that you asked me because I absolutely love Quantrix and I absolutely love the sum product function. It is absolutely the greatest function, in my opinion, that has ever been created. It is the function that rules all other functions, actually. So what Cody has here is he has a basic model. And he, what he wants to do is he wants to go ahead and compute the capacity, weekly capacity, over weeks and years for a bunch of items that he has here in this quantity requested matrix. And what happens here is there's a quantity for item one of 500 and it should be active between 510 and 25 of 2017 and then item two has 125 units it should be active from 6116 to 5117 okay and he wants to display that in this quantity column and you can see that he's made a feeble attempt at this and done his very best as a newbie i suppose going out here using with a using as and i think that's great also he's went out and used the between function and then at last he tried the if function wasn't quite working and so as i was looking at this i was thinking well maybe it's a selects maybe it's a select between but then it came to me it is actually the ultimate function the sum product function that is the answer so in order to get this to work i need to create a couple helper items if you will within the summary items and the first one that I need to create is kind of a date helper and what I want to do is I want to get the date that is associated with week one of 2016 okay because I'm going to then compare that date to the start date and to the finish date here so in order to get that I go ahead and I say date helper is equal to timeline date just like that and let me get rid of the double <clears throat> equals there and you can see that 1416 is uh, the date that they that Quantrix says that 2016 started for week one that's actually a Monday if you need to adjust that you can go ahead and add some ones or or take away some ones or whatever you need to here within this formula but generally speaking for for all intents and purposes this will work for what I'm trying to demonstrate so 1 4 11 1 uh, 11 18 and so on and then what happens is we want to create we want to calculate kind of this quantity that's the whole goal here so I'm gonna go ahead and just in this quantity by quantity authority rich I'm gonna say well that is equal to the sum product function and I'm gonna do two open braces here and what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say is the date here the start date is it less than or equal to the date that I'm on here okay and then I want to know if the date that is the finish date, if it is greater than or equal to uh, the date that I'm on here. And if I could do that and I go ahead and I close it, I can see, again, looking at these yellow guys, that yeah, 1416 is less than this guy, and he's also not greater than this guy. So go ahead and give me zero, all right? Maybe not very helpful. But if I look at 2017 period one or week one, I would see that I actually get three. And the reason why I'm getting three is because actually 510, 16 is greater than, is actually less than 1, 2, 17. And it is also greater than 2, 5 of 17. And the same hold true, holds true for these other items' dates, okay? and therefore it's giving me a three well that's all fine and dandy what i then want to add to this is i then want to multiply this by the quantity and i'm going to put that in curly braces or not curly braces but in parentheses and when i do that you can see that since it was this quantity this total quantity which is 1625 should show up in this one because all of these dates are active at 1 2 of 2017 and how this is working if i were to go ahead and hit control d here <clears throat> on my dependency inspector i could go and click on 
or hover on these operators and this is just awesome this dependency inspector that they've improved in 6.0 and what I can do is I can hover on these operators and I can say well all of these are one okay and then what happens with these all of these are one or all of them are true if they weren't true they would be zero so if I were to go here I would expect to see actual zeros if I were to hover on the operators okay and then what happens if I go back here and I were to hover on the the one right here in the middle what it does is it goes out and says well they're all true and then what it does is it takes all those trues and it multiplies them by the associated quantities of 50 125 and a thousand it's multiplying them by one so it's simply 500 125 and 1000 as I can see right here as I hover and uh, some product what it then does after it does the product of everything it goes ahead and it sums it so 500 125 and a thousand equals 1625 so bam it works awesome uh, 218 I expect to see some things drop off I expect to really see uh, these last these first two items to drop off at the start of 2018 or at least have dropped off by the start of 2018 rather and that's true I only see a thousand and that's this guy here because he is the only one that is active from in 2018 uh, of period one and again I can see that by going out here to the dependency inspector they all register here uh, but once I get to here the last date is only true here of it being greater than or equal to 1 1 of 18 when I multiply them both together here I get 0 0 1 I then multiply that by the quantity that's listed here and I get only a thousand it goes ahead and sums it and it gives me a thousand here so anyway that's the sum product function real quick it is absolutely awesome and I hope Cody that you find this uh, useful I hope this solves your problems Again, I Quantrix is scalable you can go add as many items as you want now with the same format that you've have you have here and it will populate automatically uh, in your model and you'll go on to be a hero at your job because you're now using some product and Quantrix Modeler. Anyway, if you have any questions about uh, capacity, about some product, about Quantrix, I hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix, and I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.